all right guys so we are done with modularizing our routes now we need to use something provided by express and that is a middleware middleware is something that has to be used uh, by multiple routes in multiple views and rather than giving a full path from the root of our application we define a static folder that this is the folder uh, that needs to refer its child folders or the files directly rather than giving the full path so let me do it before you understand clearly what does it mean uh, so in order to i have created this public folder okay so you can see it has uh, added its uh, recommended uh, icon right here and inside the public folder i have added the images folder and in the images i have given the four images of four people that are added uh, in my json array okay we have this roger and you can see that i have uh, given the name of these images with the name of the first name of these people okay so that i may able to concatenate and add the images uh, in my view and inside the public folder we can also create css folder and inside the css folder we can add the css files or we can add the js folder in which we can add the uh, jquery files or the javascript scripting files or uh, and in the images folder we can add the sub images folder as well but uh, for simplicity i have just added the images in my images folder okay so let's come to our app.js file in order to define this public folder as a static folder uh, i need to use express.static function so uh, before that i need to use app.use and inside it i need to use express and static and inside it i need to refer to a specific folder that has to be the middleware so app slash public so I have said that from the app to the public folder, this is the middleware uh, that needs to be used all over our application. Okay, so let's go back to our um, people.js file and inside it, you can see that we have um, two routes. One is the people and the people ID. Uh, we need to add the image of each people. Uh, let's say that I don't want to add the ids right here okay uh, ids are just uh, are not required to print on the screen so i will remove this id instead i will use the image right here so in order to add the image i will use the image element and source and after that i need to use slash and directly refer to the folder that is inside the public folder because i don't need to write the reference of this image directly from the app folder uh, instead I can directly use images slash and the name of images so you can see that I can get the name of each image uh, from that this people's array and you can see that I have already told you the name of the image refers to the first name of this uh, array so image and right here I can use dollar sign curly braces item dot first name and i can then write dot uh, jpg okay so let's add a alt as well so inside the alt uh, i can simply copy this thing and paste it and end the image element so if i go to my browser and you can see that it has taken out all the images and it has bind those images in my template uh, so if i go to slash one uh, there is no image let's add the image right there as well so here is i just need to copy this one copy it and paste it right here and the name of the variable is same as the item so we don't need to worry about it item dot first name dot jpg so let's save it and if i go to my browser you can see that the image has been imported uh, let's navigate to the second p person that is a john cena so i have got all those these four people um, in my view
uh, we can also add the CSS files right here uh, inside the CSS folder let's create the CSS folder I'm not gonna be using the CSS file right here in this video uh, I'll be using the CSS files in the next uh, video so let's create the folders before that and you can see that these are the names that are recommended uh, and according to the names they assign the images proper images so let's add a folder and that is a JS folder for the scripts so these are the most common used folder in a public folder uh, so that's it for this video in the next video I'll use templating and I will uh, make this view a bit beautiful and I will add a menu bar the home button and the people's button uh, and about us uh, and we will add a routing among those links in our menu bar stay tuned subscribe my channel like this video and comment below if you have any question